Well, let's talk about how the price of Bitcoin was manipulated this morning. So this morning, you know, some of you woke up to the price of Bitcoin pushing all the way up to thirty thousand uh, dollars earlier this morning. You know, I got a notification the Bitcoin was up, I believe, ten percent. And when I checked the price of Bitcoin, it was at thirty thousand dollars. And I was like, what the F? is going on right like what is going on what is making the price of bitcoin go to thirty thousand dollars because the last time i checked the price of bitcoin it was around twenty seven thousand all right and in fact we were actually in the higher twenty six thousand dollar range so the last time i checked the price of bitcoin we were right here all right somewhere around twenty seven thousand one hundred dollars and somewhere around $26,800. So to wake up this morning, to get a notification, and see the price of Bitcoin at $30,000, I wanted to know exactly what was going on. So, you know, got on Twitter, and the first thing I saw was a breaking news that the SEC approved BlockRock Bitcoin ATF. Now, that is a massive breaking news right there. The Bitcoin ETF. Something people have been asking for the last for the last five, eight years now. Right? Like you don't understand, you know, how many Bitcoin ETF applications has been submitted. I mean, we are talking about hundreds of applications if not thousands, all right? So for the first time, you know, the news this morning was that a Bitcoin ETF was finally approved. And when I saw that the Bitcoin ETF was finally approved, you know, it made a lot of more sense as to why the price of Bitcoin was all of the sudden at $30,000. From 26, 27,000, all the way up to $30,000. And because of that, because of that, you know, the first thing I thought about was that we are definitely going much higher than $30,000, right? We are definitely going much, much higher than $30,000 if the ETF is finally approved. And I started to think about that we may never see, you know, Bitcoin below $25,000 again. Now, a few minutes later, the price of Bitcoin started dropping. We went from $30,000 all of a sudden back to $28,000. All right. And I uh, got back on Twitter. And I realized that this was actually fake news. Bitcoin ETF was not approved. All right. So Cointelegraph, all right. Cointelegraph is the one that broke the news. All right. So this is the, this is the original tweet. You know, SEC approves Bitcoin spot ETF. This was the original tweet. About an hour later, all right, they, uh, they release another, another tweet, you know, apologizing for, you know, for misleading investors. And that was the reason why, you know, Bitcoin went from 30000 back to $28,000 because this was fake news, all right? So we apologize for a tweet that led to uh, the dissemination, uh, dissemination of inaccurate information regarding the, uh, you know, the BlockRock Bitcoin ETF. Uh, currently, they are, you know, doing an internal investigation. But the damage has been done. Uh, the damage has been done. In fact, you know, millions and millions of dollars was liquidated because of this tweet right here. All right, I believe somewhere around eighty to a hundred million dollars 
of shore position was liquidated because of this. So the price of Bitcoin, you know, was manipulated this morning. And the question is, is there going to be consequences or is there going to be no consequences, right? I mean, millions of dollars, you know, liquidated. People lost, you know, a lot of money, you know, because of the, misinf uh, the misinformation. So is there going to be consequences or, you know, is it just another day, you know, in the jungle pretty much, all right? So these are the things that I don't tend to enjoy about this market. And the reason is because, you know, this market can easily be manipulated, all right? And it is a lot easier, you know, because of the market cap, it is a lot of easier to move the price up and move the price down. On the bright side, right? This is, this right here, guys, is a bit of what is going to happen once the Bitcoin ETF is finally approved. Now, my, listen, my thing is, is that I think the Bitcoin ETF is going to be approved, not at the beginning of the bull market, but at the end of the bull market, all right? I think by the time the Bitcoin ETF is finally approved, it is going to be, you know, the blow off top. And we are going to see the beginning of the bear market. The very same way when the futures, uh, when the futures market was approved, you know, in uh, when the Bitcoin futures was approved in, I believe in 2017, you know, it marked the beginning of you know, the, uh, the 2018 bear market. So I don't think they are going to approve the Bitcoin ETF, you know, early on in the bull market. You know, I do think they are going to approve, you know, one of the ETFs because of how many applications and because of, you know, the fact that you now have you know, corporations who are comfortable to put Bitcoin on their balance sheet. And because you now have, you know, billionaires and you now have, you know, millions and millions of people who are, you know, who own or have some type of, you know, association uh, with the cryptocurrency industry. So I do think one of the ETFs is definitely going to be approved, but the timeline, right? To me, the timeline, I feel like it is not going to be towards the beginning of the bull market. It is going to be towards the end of the bull market. And that is going to mark, you know, basically the top of the bull market. And that is going to be what sends, you know, Bitcoin back in the bear market. You know, if you think about, when Coinbase IPO'd, right? Coinbase IPO'd in April of 2021. Like that was basically the end of the bull market. Yeah, if you guys remember, you know, towards early 2021, we had a 50% correction in the price of Bitcoin, even though we had a massive rally towards the end of 2021. I mean, we basically just retested the old time high. Even though Bitcoin was able, you know, to break 65000 and push all the way up to $69,000, I mean, it was basically the end, of the, bear, uh, the end of the bull market and the beginning of the bear market. So, you know, that is my thoughts when it comes to, you know, the Bitcoin ETF. Is it going to have, you know, an impact on the price of Bitcoin? Absolutely. All right. You can clearly see you know, something like this was very significant. But if this was actually, you know, an ETF that was approved, if this was actually, you know, accurate information, I think the price was going to push all the way up into, 
you know, thirty-five to thirty-seven thousand dollars. So I do think that the approval of the ETF is going to have an impact on the price. But if it is approved, you know, early on in the bull market, you know, that is going to be what just you know takes off the bull market. You know, that is going to be what drives the price to wherever the all-time high is going to be. But if it is approved towards the end of the bull market, you know, that is going to be, you know, basically that is going to be the trigger of the bear market. So $28,000 Bitcoin, you know, here we are consolidating. Uh, but I think if we, you know, if we stay above these local levels, if we stay above these local levels right here, guys, then I do think that we will see $30,000, you know, very soon again, but only if we stay above, you know, these local levels.